Hi guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. So today I'm going to tackle my beautiful bookshelf and give you a bit of a bookshelf tour. So I'm just going to kind of comment on any of the books that I really like as we go past. So I used to be really, really into reading. Like I used to have an Instagram about books. So yeah, I've kind of not been... um reading in a long time like for just for fun which is so sad because I'm always busy um but I really miss it and I would like to get back into it as soon as I have more time. I used to organize my books purely by series and by author but now I've kind of got them arranged kind of like color wise. I think it looks more aesthetically pleasing in my bedroom so here's like obviously Rainbow. Most of my books are also like young adult books as opposed to classics. But I do have another shelf kind of built into my wall where, which has more like classics and stuff. But yeah, I'm just gonna take you through this beautiful shelf today. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. So here we have my kind of favorite shelf. I've organized it like rainbow up there is sort of rainbow up there's sort of random big books and just all my mortal instruments books that's kind of blue that's white with a random blue book there i don't know why that's there up here's all the sort of more school books so i've got english got biology here's my less preferred shelf so we've got sort of really random books up there that don't really look up there then kind of black themed books with dark brown and here's quite a pretty shelf but this is sort of where I just put like any other random books. I mean I really don't have any space and I kind of wedge them on there. Um, and behind this magazine we've got more books. Yay! Cool. Okay so that's your overview but let's go into more depth. Okay, so on this shelf we have a Catching Fire. I have about five different copies of The Hunger Games, I swear. Uh, Half Bad, that's a good book. I also have Half Wild somewhere. Love the Selection series. If you're a teenager, I highly recommend reading that. Manifest on How to Be Interesting. I really enjoyed that book. Holly Bourne is a great writer. I've read all of this series. So it was Anna, Isla, and Lola. I liked the first one the most, and I didn't really like the second two as much, but it's still good. Spiders, I've read those books, they were good, but I can't really remember what happened, so it can't have been that great. <laughs> I hate The Maze Runner. The movie was all right, but I don't know what it is. I just really hate The Maze Runner. I didn't finish the second two books. Sorry. <laughs> um, Hunger Games, love it. 13 is the first one in that series. Um, I think I liked that one, but I can't really remember that much. Eleanor and Park, great book, love that. Maze Runner, don't like that at all. Leave my leave my shelf. I mean, it's pretty, but leave. Fangirl, I think I liked that, but I can't remember it that much. Since you've been gone, right, since you've been gone, everyone, you need to read this this summer. Morgan Matson is absolutely amazing at contemporary summer writing. We're talking about it, so. Highly, highly recommend that you go and you read Since You've Been Gone. It's amazing. I read it like... I want to say like two years ago, maybe it was a year ago, but um, she's just amazing as an author. I think it's like about this shy girl, can't remember her name, um, and her friend just kind of disappears and leaves this list for her of things that she has to complete this summer, almost like as a bucket list. And they kind of like get her out of her shell and it's things like skinny dipping, all these random challenges that she has to do. Love it, absolutely. I think I devoured that book in like a day or something. Highly recommend. <laughs> then Isla is in the same series as Lola. Good books. Um, they take you to different places across the world, which is nice. Pandemonium, honestly, not sure I read it. I know I read Delirium, but I can't really remember it that much. We Were Liars, great book when you get to the end. I kind of thought the start was a bit slow. I mean, it's a tiny book, but honestly, the end will leave you like, what the hell. Let It Snow, great for Christmas. Mocking Jay. Love it, love Hunger Games. Paper Towns, love that. Fault in Our Stars, loved it. Although, I'm actually, mm, you might hate me, but when I first read it, I really didn't like it. And I loved the film, so it made me want to go and revisit the book again, but I don't know what it was. I just didn't really love it when I read it first time around. Um, I loved this whole series. I read them in like a few days, um, therefore I can't really remember much, but loved it. I adore the selection series. So you've got the elite over there, but this is just 
really good series and they're so beautiful like the books oh isn't that just stunning it's a bit like the bachelor but for um girls who get to potentially marry the prince prince maxon and lots goes down it's great <laughs> anna that's in the same series as the others shadow and bone is in the same series as that one it's the first one i loved that really recommend if you're into fantasy and all that sort of thing famous in love was all right i mean it was good but yeah to all the boys i've loved before don't think i've ever, ever got around to reading this so yeah there's loads of books on the shelf that i still need to read <laughs> Then we've got my beloved Percy Jackson collection, Heroes of Olympus. I actually remember I went through such effort in order to get these books because they're like hardback editions and they're really nice. I went through such effort to get those. Um, this one's I think from a library, like secondhand, but all the others I bought nude. I just wanted to complete the collection. I'm not sure I ever read The Iron Trial. Um, not sure I read this either. Now my beautiful shelf of cassandra clare the mortal instruments i mean the series and the movie were a bit eh but the books if you've not read them why not because you need to go read them um they're just amazing and all the spin-off series and stuff equally amazing highly recommend and then i've got some more percy jackson because my childhood was full of greek mythology next shelf um I think I haven't read these yet, so that's great. I've owned them for like two years. They're beautiful books, like, look at them. Isn't that just stunning? Um, I think I might have just bought the whole series because they were beautiful, judging a book by its cover a bit. Um, so this is the blue shelf, and these guys, right, these. I love these books so much. Right, we're turning around because I love them so much. Okay, so look, I'll get, I'll get one out for you. Cinder and Scarlet and stuff. And it's basically spin-offs of fairy tales and like princesses. So Cinder's obviously in Cinderella. Scarlet is Little Red Riding Hood. Cress is Rapunzel and Winter is Snow White. And it's like this really cool dystopian version of fairy tales. Um, so like Cinder is a cyborg. So she's like half robot and there's like a plague in the whole of the country as there always seems to be in dystopian novels but highly recommend that honestly i just love those books and winter came out quite recently this is this is really nostalgic for me i just never have time to read so going through the books that i like is like back onto this oh the unbecoming of mara Dyer. i remember this all i can remember is self-harm and suicide or something but Great books. Never read the Clarial, but it looks really beautiful. I think I might have just bought that because it looked nice and never got round to it. Divergent, I clearly really like the books because I've got two two copies. I think this whole thing was from Costco for like five pounds or something, and I just really liked I like having more than one cover. I'm so sad with the movies because the books were like my life. I mean I even wrote a fan fiction about it, like that says something. But the movies were quite disappointing. <laughs> the miniaturist. Oh, I love this. It's about, I'm not sure what period. Uh, okay, so it's in the 1600s and it's in Holland and I'm half Dutch, so I found that really interesting. I think I got that for my birthday, but I loved it. Hunger Games, different edition again, just love it. Ah, oh, Assassin's Blade. I will talk more about this when we get to the other bit of the series, but this just had to go on the blue shelf. More Heroes of Olympus, but it's not hardback, so it does not deserve that shelf. Um, Rogue is about like people who are turned into dragons or something. That was a good book. Hush Hush, again, good book. Can't really remember what happens now, but I remember liking it. <laughs> Down here, so we've got some random things. I think we've got like a wicked program. I don't even know. Deliciously Ella Cookbook, which I haven't used for a very long time, but you know, it's good. Red Queen was great, but the issue was when the sequel came out, I kind of forgot everything that happened in Red Queen. Therefore, I kind of never got into Glass Sword and there's still a bookmark in it, so I never actually finished it. But again, these books are beautiful. Let me get them on out. Look at that. It's like massive and just great. I love it. Half Wild, we visited the first one up there. Good books. Champion and Legend. I think I read Legend. I liked it. And then I never read the next one. I'm sorry. 
Ah, oh, these were like my childhood slash preteen books. Love them. If you're into horse riding, why have you not read The One Dollar Horse yet? It's amazing. And all of the books like have coloured um, pages. So it's really cool. Really like those. Codename Verity. Uh, I really liked that. It's about World War II or something. Poets of Being a Wallflower. Absolute classic. Love the film. That's a good book. The Jewel. Ah, oh, the sequel must have come out by now. I read this like a year or two ago. I loved it. Until I realised that it's literally just The Handmaid's Tale in a more modern version. Literally The Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> um, so we have If I Stay and Where She Went and Just One Day. I think I've read these two and I'm not sure I read Just One Day. Now these. Ah, oh, look how crisp and beautiful they look. I haven't even bought the sequel yet because I've had no time. But... Oh my gosh, Sarah J Maas is an author from heaven. She is amazing. She wrote the first draft of Throne of Glass when she was 17. And if you're into fantasy, these books are absolutely everything. I just, oh, I love it. Queen of the Tealing, don't think I ever read it, but I'm sure it's great. Handmaid's Tale, um, read it last year. Definitely recommend, especially if you're doing A-level English. Haven't read this yet. Oh, I did read this one, but there's like 20 sequels, so I haven't read the rest, but it's like Outlander. It's really good. Um, the Island, I read that. I got given it by someone who went on holiday to Greece about like uh, leprosy and stuff. Interesting. So that's my nicest bookshelf done. Oh, wait, no. I lie. It's not done. So, haha. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have the books that don't fit on the shelves and they're kind of just here. Um, so we have, these are kind of my biology further reading books. Apart from this one, this is just a random self-improvement businessy book because I'm all about self-improvement. Stole this from my dad. Um, but all of these books, I haven't read this yet. I'm reading this this summer and I'm gonna read this on holiday and I've started the biology of belief and I pretty much finished Are We Smart Enough to Know How Smart Animals Are? It's really interesting because um, I want to do biology, as you may or may not know. And then there's a random script there. Um, here we have the sort of English books. And I have two copies of The Great Gatsby and of Wuthering Heights. Because I found out in the classroom that we needed a different version. So that kind of sucks. Um, Rebecca I talked about in my exam, actually. Um, as like intertextuality. So throwback. I loved Kill a Mockingbird. And then we've got some Shakespeare plays, which is great. And here we have um, Mine and Nara's, who's my friend's scrapbook. And this is, maybe one day I'll take you through our scrapbook, but it's a good one. If you enjoyed this video, please say, and I will tackle this shelf. Um, it's a bit less exciting, but you know. I'm honestly so sad that I've not been doing much reading recently. And if I am reading, it's like for school or it's a classic for English or something. I really miss just like a good young adult novel or something. Um, and even this summer is so busy that I might be able to read like one book on holiday, but apart from that, mm-mm. But yeah, I'm very proud of this shelf. I used to reorganize it all the time, but I haven't reorganized it in maybe two years, maybe. But yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please comment down below. I would love to tackle that shelf in future, but I know this video is quite long, so yeah. If you'd like me to recommend any books for summer, please say, because I have some good book recommendations, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.